everybody, my name is Emma Matrinuk and I am an English teacher. Dear students, today we are going to continue to talk about culture, its definitions, notions, signs and examples. Today in class we will practice the new vocabulary, we will learn what the elements of culture are, we will identify important issues, we will select the required information from the text we are going to read. Ok, so let's answer the following questions first. What is culture? What are the elements of culture in your country? What examples from other countries do you know? Look at this picture. What do you see? Ok, so, according to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, culture is the customary beliefs, social forms, and material traits of a racial, religious, or social group. It is the characteristic features of everyday existence shared by people in a place or time, the set of values, conventions, or social practices associated with a particular field, activity, or societal characteristics. If you talk about your own country, of course, you will talk about grapes, cherry blossom, the sunflower fields, green hills, or vineyards. If you talk about any other country, of course, you will keep in mind Big Ben, Sakura, Pyramids, Statue of Liberty, or the Great Wall. Now, let's answer the following questions. Why is it important to follow cultural traditions of one's country? Can you describe a country, community in terms of its cultural values? Why is it important to be a cultural person? If you talk about traditions of one country, of course, it is because you want to show the respect and understanding. If you describe any other country or community, it will be important to know its special atmosphere, traditions and customs. And of course, every cultural person performs his respect for culture and respect for the others. Now, before we read the text, let's look and learn some words from the text. Look at them. Heritage Artifacts, guideline, metaphorical. Another group is faithfulness, achievements, folkways, moires, violation. The next group is deviant, theft, molestation, significance. Some of them are familiar, some of them might seem new. And now look at this text the elements of culture. Culture refers to the social heritage of a people. Culture is composed of non-material culture, abstract creations such as values, beliefs, symbols, norms, customs and institutional arrangements, and material culture, physical artifacts or objects such as painted pottery, coins, stamps, altars, singer viewing machines, etc. Culture is essential to all humankind. In a human society, culture supplies its members with a set of common guidelines that tell them what to say and do. In so doing, culture binds separate lives into a larger whole. Only by sharing similar perspectives can people fit their actions together. Culture consists of a number of elements, such as symbols, language, norms, and values. A symbol is a metaphorical object or image that stands for something else, especially a material object representing something more abstract. Symbols take the form of words, sounds, gestures, objects, such as flags, medallions, tattoos, paintings, religious icons, badges, clothing, etc., as well as visual images and are used to convey various ideas and beliefs. A 
ring, especially a band of gold, for example, represents faithfulness and fidelity. With this ring, I thee wed. Let's continue with the text. Language is perhaps our most distinctive and complex achievement as human beings. Language enables people to learn, experience, and share their traditions and customs. Norms include folkways and mores. A folkway is a way of thinking, feeling, or acting that is common to a given group of people. Folkways are the habitual and customary ways by which the members of a group do this. Examples include shaking hands when introduced, holding the door open when someone is coming along behind you, and so forth. The term mores refers to the norms set by society. Individuals who do not follow social mores are often considered social deviants. Such violations of mores as murder, theft, rape, treason, and child molestation bring strong disapproval and severe punishment in countries all over the world. The violation of some words is deemed so adhorent that they take on the properties of a taboo. A society's words are an important source of laws. A law represents the whole system or set of rules made by the government of a town, state, country, etc. People who are supposed to obey the law also need to know their rights under the law. Values are abstract ideas of what is desirable, correct, and good that most members of a society share. Values supply conceptions whereby we evaluate people, objects, and events as to their relative worth, merit, beauty, or morality. Where values are shared, taken seriously, and invested with deep emotional significance, people are moved to make sacrifices, even to fight and die to preserve them. This is our long text, full of information, ideas, and elements of culture. Let's look at the text again and answer several questions. How do you find this text? Is it interesting or boring? How informative is it? And is it challenging? Think a little bit and define what emotions does it provoke. Now please have a look at these pictures with cultural elements given in the text above. What do you see here? A globe with different flags of different parts of the world. A totem something interesting and maybe unusual, a flag, a stem, and a picture of handshaking. In the given parts of the text, we see descriptions of the elements of culture, so let's revise them. Look at these pictures first. A symbol is a metaphorical object or image, a material object representing something more abstract, sounds, gestures, Objects such as flags, medallions, tattoos, paintings, religious icons, badges, clothing, etc., as well as visual images, and are used to convey various ideas and beliefs. And probably every country, every community, and maybe even family has its own elements. Next elements of culture are, of course, this is language and values. Language is perhaps our most distinctive and complex achievement as human beings. Language enables people to learn, experience, and share their traditions and customs. However, values supply conceptions whereby we evaluate people, objects, and events as to their relative worth, merit, beauty, or morality. Where values are shared, taken seriously, and invested with deep emotional significance. Let's look at some more elements of culture. Norms include folkways and mores, the way people think or feel, for example, shaking hands when introduced or holding the door open when someone is coming. 
The term mores refers to the norms set by society. Individuals who do not follow social mores are often considered social deviants. You see how many different and interesting cultural elements we might have in our lives. And this is indeed very challenging and informative. Now let's work a little bit with vocabulary from the text and with the synonyms. Let's find the synonyms and the words in the list from the text. They are first group, birthright, estate, inheritance, legacy, patrimony. Next group, criterion, modal, pattern, rule, standard, type. Next group, conviction, notion, opinion, presumption, view. Then comes emblem, image, logo, representation, sigh or token. And the last group, ban, interdiction, prohibition, prescription. If we look attentively through the text, we will definitely find synonyms for these groups of words. And here they are. We have heritage for first group of words. We have guideline for the next group of words. We have faithfulness for the next group. We have symbol for the next one. And we have taboo for the last one. We hope you found them all in the text. Now, look at some more phrases. Let's try to memorize them. To obey the law, to consist of, to convey ideas and beliefs, a way of thinking, a set of rules, to make sacrifices, and to follow social mores. Some of these phrases might seem new, so let's look what they mean. Let's look for some equivalents for these phrases. To obey the law means to follow the regulation or the rule. To consist of means be composed, made up of. To convey ideas and beliefs means make an idea, communicate a message. A way of thinking equals to one's way of thinking. A set of rules means list or number of rules or issues. To make sacrifices means to give something valued for something else. And to follow social mores means to use customs, way of life, habits, practice, procedures. These phrases are very useful and important and worth to be memorized. Okay, so to conclude, let's have a look at what we have done today. First of all, we have found out different elements of culture that can characterize a country, a community. Then we have discovered various useful information in the text. And finally, we have enriched our vocabulary, have learned synonyms, phrases, and word combinations. We hope you found a lot of new and useful information in this text and this unit. So far for today, dear students, enjoy your knowledge and reflect on different cultural elements you see around. See you next time.